Hi everybody, this is a video of the Fitzgerald 6 foot fluorescent strip light with an Natura T8 fluorescent tube. As you can see, I thought I'd do a video of this 6 foot strip light with an Natura fluorescent tube. And as you can see on it, it says uh, Sylvania made in Germany. And it says professional uh, 70 watt gourmet 175. That's what it says on the edge. It's like coloured brown, yeah. And now, and now this is the third video of this uh, six foot, um, yeah, six foot fluorescent strip light, the Fitzgerald one, at uh, six foot. So, and I thought I'd do a video of it with a Natura T8 fluorescent tube. So, anyway, guys, all I'm going to do now is switch out the big lights now. Right, that's it now. The big lights have gone out now onto the the Fitzgerald strip light now with a Natura, Natura fluorescent tube. Everybody, ready, everybody. After three, one, two, three. Wow, it certainly come on without flashing, but and you see the starter lit more bright. I've actually um, changed the starter in it because it's because it says 100 watt between 100 watt and uh, 125 watt, which it usually mentions 75 watt to 85 watt. So that's usually fitted into a six foot strip light, but usually that's made to be fitted in a um, in an eight foot strip light. But usually they're made for six foots as well. But as you can see now, the uh, the strip light is a uh, fully come on, and then the very the very middle parts very dark, but you can, it's hardly to see on camera. But you can see it from my eyes. But the very ends are getting more brighter. So as you can see, so and there's a uh, yeah, you can see you can see it when I hold it when I put it when I hold it a bit closer, you can actually see the very the very middle part of the strip light look quite dim, whereas the ends are getting brighter but it does take a little while to warm up though excuse this little midge it's a little uh, well little midge in it those uh, little flies that's what we usually call it anyway so anyway guys uh, so as you can see it's lit a nice pink colour it's like we're in a butcher's shop again yeah it's like welcome back to the butcher's shop so um you know nowadays now a lot of these uh, butcher shops will be still be fitted with a uh, uh, those gourmet star fluorescent tubes like this one is, but you know they're all going. A lot of them going to LED. But anyway, and uh, I saw some. Uh, I looked on the edge that says on the tube. It's a Sylvania one. Yeah, so as you can see on it, it says um, Sylvania www.sylvania.lighting.com. That's all it says, and um, and it's a and it's a beautiful beautiful fluorescent tube. That's the same fitting as of what I've done. You might see the starter light up a bit more brighter, but I've kept the other starter button that I've replaced it because it, the other one has 65 watts and it allows up to about a five foot strip light or four foot. But I decided to replace it to put into the uh, six foot one that that's a 100, 100 watt one that's usually more compatible to the six foot one. So anyway, guys, so as you can see, and uh, it's lit my carpet a nice pink color. Look up all around my room. And everything is shining more nice and pink. And as you can see, it looks like the, the very middle of that tube is still looking quite dim. It does take a little while to warm up though, guys. So, um, do you know what? I could never get enough of a, a nice old light fitting like this. And um, it's, a, it's a real, it's worth to be kept hold of. So, and um, I'd love to do two of them because I have got two of those six foot Fitzgerald strip lights that I saved from this social club. And, um... Uh, what else am I going to say? Yes, and with this beautiful light switch and everything, and um, turn on the socket, and uh, that's all my other stuff, so. <laughs> and that's all it is, guys. So, anyway, guys, all I'm going to do now, I'm going to switch off the strip light and turn it back on. So, anyway, guys, here we go. Right, that's it now. It went a bit yellow when I turned it off, so that because it being a Natura tube. So anyway, guys, all I'm going to do now is switch this strip light back on now, everybody. Here we go. Wow, and it did trigger the electro filaments. Yeah, it just it actually triggered the electrodes without flashing, like going bing, 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 bing. It just actually just comes on without doing that. But I think it's a more better starter button. It usually comes on more instantly. Well, not instant, instant, but it's just like magnetically. It just comes on with a starter, and then the tube just comes on straight away, without, straight away without flashing and what have you. So, looks like the middle part's getting. It is getting a little bit warm. It's getting brighter now, but it just takes a while it's because it's six feet long. I wish it was a was a T12 one, so you wouldn't have to wait to do that because they don't usually do that, but T8 ones do. But 
So as you, anyway, guys. So as you can see now that the seventy four is a seventy watt Natura fluorescent tube, one hundred and seventy five. You still see the name Gourmet. So anyway, guys. So as you can see now, uh, the six foot fluorescent strip lights uh, reached its full brightness at uh, whatever full brightness it is. I don't know what the full brightness of the wattage is, but so it's seventy watts warm and everything, guys. So as you so as you can see now. So all I'm going to do now is turn off this strip light again now. So. Right, that's it now. It's gone out now. So all I'm going to do now is turn the big lights back on now, guys. Right, that's it now, guys. The big lights are back on now, everybody. So, so I just sit down. So, anyway, guys, uh, this is a video of the Fitzgerald six-foot fluorescent strip light with a Natura T8 fluorescent tube and everything, everybody. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. So please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, everybody.